Did you know that the most successful people aren't necessarily the smartest, the wealthiest, or the most connected? They're the ones who have mastered themselves. They've learned how to control their emotions, build discipline, and face fear with unwavering courage. If you want to unlock your true potential, you need to understand one thing. The path to success starts with mastering yourself. Self-mastery isn't something reserved for a select few. It's a skill that anyone can develop. But it requires discipline, patience, and the willingness to face uncomfortable truths about yourself. The road to personal growth isn't always easy, but the rewards are more than worth it. So, if you're ready to take control of your life and shape your future, stick around. Because in this video, we'll dive deep into how you can unlock your fullest potential, starting with the first step, understanding the journey to self-mastery. If you want to become the best version of yourself, you need to do this one thing. Embrace the journey and never stop striving to improve. Let's get started. Number one, embrace the journey, understanding the path to self-mastery. We all start somewhere. If you're watching this, you've probably had moments in your life where you felt like you were on top of the world. Maybe you were in a new relationship, celebrated a career milestone, or just felt invincible after achieving something important. You know that feeling, the rush of happiness that comes from success, the sense of pride that follows a personal victory. We all have that innate desire to excel, to be more, and to transform into the best version of ourselves. But then comes the inevitable question, how do we sustain that happiness? How do we maintain that sense of fulfillment over the long term? It's easy to get caught up in fleeting moments of success, but there's something deeper at play. This is where the path to self-mastery comes in. It's not about quick wins or temporary gratification. It's about building a life that is strong, resilient and purposeful. It's about understanding that the journey to becoming the best version of yourself is long and it's filled with both highs and lows. The happiness you experience from an accomplishment is beautiful, but true growth comes from facing challenges head on, making mistakes and learning from them. This is where the real power lies. As we dig into this idea of self-mastery, we need to recognize that it's not an overnight transformation. It's not about just reading a few motivational quotes or watching an inspiring video. It's about committing to a lifetime of growth. It's about making choices every day that align with your values and long-term vision. Self-mastery involves mental toughness, emotional intelligence, and a deep commitment to constant improvement. It's about learning how to take ownership of your thoughts actions, and ultimately your life. It's about asking yourself the tough questions. What do I want to achieve? What am I willing to sacrifice to get there? How do I respond when life doesn't go according to plan? Number two, the power of discipline, building consistency in your life. If you've ever set a goal for yourself, whether it was to lose weight, learn a new skill, or start a business, you probably experience the initial excitement that comes with making that commitment. You feel motivated, energized, and ready to take on the world. It's a great feeling, right? That spark of ambition is what drives us to take the first step, to jump in and start working toward our dreams. But as we all know, that initial enthusiasm often fades. The motivation you once felt starts to wane and the reality of consistency sets in. Suddenly, it's not as fun or exciting anymore. You've hit a plateau and the path ahead seems longer than expected. This is where discipline comes into play. Discipline is the bridge between the goals we set and the results we desire. It's easy to be excited at the beginning, but it's discipline that allows us to push through when things get tough. It's what keeps you going on the days when your motivation is low, when you're tempted to skip that workout eat that unhealthy snack, or procrastinate on the task at hand. Without discipline, all the goals you set for yourself remain just that. Goals. 
dreams without a solid plan of execution, but discipline gives you the framework to turn your dreams into reality. Let's take a step back and think about how we've approached consistency in our past. Perhaps you've had moments in your life when you successfully built a habit. You woke up every day and did something consistently. Maybe you committed to reading every day, or you followed a strict budget to save money. For a time, it felt easy, even empowering. But then life threw you a curveball. Maybe a stressful situation at work, or a personal challenge. Suddenly, the consistency you had built started to slip away. You told yourself it was temporary, that you'd get back on track when things calmed down. But the longer you stayed off course, the harder it became to pick up where you left off. When you reflect on those moments, you realize that it wasn't just the setbacks that caused you to fall off track. It was the absence of discipline in those moments of weakness. Discipline isn't about being perfect. It's about creating a system for yourself and sticking to it even when it's inconvenient, uncomfortable, or difficult. It's about understanding that consistency is what builds long-term success, not momentary bursts of effort. Now, imagine if you could transform your relationship with discipline. Imagine if you could approach every challenge, every goal, and every obstacle with the same level of commitment and consistency that you had when you first started. How different would your life look? More importantly, how much more would you accomplish? Number three, mastering emotions, finding balance in the storm. There's no denying it, life can be chaotic. We live in a fast-paced world where emotions often feel like a tidal wave crashing over us at any given moment, whether it's stress from work, frustration with relationships, or the challenges that come with personal goals. It's easy to get caught up in the emotional roller coaster of life. One minute you're on top of the world, and the next you're overwhelmed by anxiety or frustration. But here's the truth you can learn to master your emotions, even in the midst of the storm. Think back to a time when you faced a difficult situation. Maybe it was a time of conflict in your personal life, or a stressful challenge at work. During that time, your emotions were running high, and it probably felt like you had little control over them. Perhaps you reacted impulsively, saying things you didn't mean, or letting anger dictate your actions. But when the dust settled, you realized that in those moments, it wasn't the situation that caused the chaos. It was your emotional response to it. The key to mastering your emotions is not to suppress them or pretend they don't exist. Instead, it's about learning how to acknowledge them, understand them, and then decide how to respond in a way that aligns with your values and goals. It's about taking a step back and giving yourself the space to process what you're feeling before you act. In this way, you gain control over your emotional state rather than letting your emotions control you. Let's go deeper into how emotions affect our decisions. The times you've regretted acting impulsively or making a hasty decision often stemmed from a surge of emotion that clouded your judgment. Maybe you snapped at a loved one out of frustration or you made a rash financial decision because of short-term desires. These emotional reactions can be powerful, but the problem lies in letting them guide your actions without considering the long-term consequences. So, how do we regain control in those moments? The answer lies in self-awareness and self-regulation. By practicing mindfulness and developing emotional intelligence, you can begin to recognize your emotional triggers and learn to pause before reacting. This pause gives you the opportunity to choose a more thoughtful, balanced response. Now, Imagine being able to approach every stressful situation with a calm, composed demeanor. Whether it's a conflict at work, an argument with a loved one, or a personal challenge, you approach it from a place of inner peace. This doesn't mean you don't feel emotions. It means you have the ability to control how those emotions influence your decisions. Imagine how much more powerful and centered you would feel in those moments. 
The world would feel less chaotic and you would be more confident in your ability to navigate any storm. Number four, the role of reflection, learning from the past to shape the future. It's easy to think about life as something that just moves forward. Each day a step towards new goals, new challenges and new accomplishments. And while that forward motion is important, there's something equally powerful about looking back. We often get caught up in the hustle and bustle, always pushing for more, always seeking the next achievement, but the key to truly understanding your path and moving forward with clarity is in the act of reflection. Think about a time in your life when something didn't go according to plan. Maybe it was a failed relationship, a missed opportunity at work, or a dream you once chased but never quite achieved. In those moments, the immediate emotions often take over, frustration, sadness, confusion. But when the dust settles and you look back, something shifts. You start to see the bigger picture. Reflection allows you to distance yourself from the chaos and examine your experiences with a level of objectivity and understanding. It's through reflection that we learn our most valuable lessons. You can't always control what happens in life, but you can control how you interpret and react to it. That's where the magic happens. Reflecting on past experiences, good, bad or otherwise, gives you the power to reshape your future. Every decision you've made, every relationship you've had, and every challenge you've faced is part of your story. And when you reflect on those moments, you can begin to understand the patterns, the successes, and the areas where you fell short. This understanding is not about self-judgment, it's about self-awareness. Think about a time in your past when you went through something difficult, perhaps a challenge that left you feeling defeated. As time passed, did you notice that the things you struggled with became the lessons that ultimately shaped who you are today? Reflection allows you to take what seemed like failure and turn it into a tool for growth. When you examine your past, you're not just looking at the facts. You're considering how they made you feel, what you learned from them, and how you can apply those lessons in the future. Let's take a moment to consider how powerful reflection truly is. Imagine you're looking at a specific event in your life. At first glance, it might seem like it was just a random moment, a setback, a mistake, or an awkward experience. But now, as you reflect on it, you start to see the layers. Number five, cultivating patience, the art of waiting with purpose. It's easy to be impatient. We live in a world of instant gratification. Everything from food delivery to online shopping is at our fingertips in seconds. In the age of fast-paced living, waiting seems like an ancient concept, something we no longer have time for. But in reality, cultivating patience is one of the most powerful skills you can develop. Patience is not just about waiting, it's about how you carry yourself while you wait, and more importantly, what you do with that time. It's an art form, one that requires intention, mindfulness, and a deep understanding of your purpose. Think about a time when you had to wait for something important in your life. Maybe it was the long road to a career goal or the anticipation of a big change, like moving to a new city or starting a new relationship. In those moments of waiting, the mind tends to wander. We get impatient, frustrated, and we often wonder, why isn't this happening right now? The discomfort of waiting can sometimes feel unbearable. But here's the truth. Waiting doesn't have to be a passive experience. In fact, it can be one of the most productive and transformative times in your life. Patience is about reframing how we look at time. It's about understanding that not every outcome is immediate and that there is value in the process itself. When you cultivate patience, you begin to see that waiting is not wasted time. The space between where you are now and where you want to be is an opportunity for growth. It's during these waiting periods that we learn the most about ourselves. It's when we face uncertainty that our true character is revealed. 
Are we able to stay focused on our goals, or do we let frustration and anxiety take over? Imagine if you could approach every moment of waiting with purpose. Rather than letting time slip away in impatience, you use it to refine your skills, deepen your understanding, or strengthen your resolve. Whether it's waiting for the next step in your career or waiting for a personal breakthrough, you can choose to use this time to grow. Patience gives you the gift of presence, the ability to focus on what's right in front of you without rushing toward the next thing. The key is to stay grounded in the present moment while maintaining a clear vision for the future. Reflect for a moment. Think about a time when patience brought you the results you desired. Maybe it was a time when you stuck with a project long after others had given up. Maybe you waited for the right moment to speak up, and when you did, your words had more impact. Patience isn't about doing nothing. It's about being proactive in the waiting. It's about trusting the process and allowing things to unfold naturally. Number six. Strength in vulnerability. Owning your true self. It's easy to think that strength comes from holding it all together, never showing weakness, never letting anyone see your cracks. In a world that often values toughness and resilience, vulnerability can seem like a weakness. But the truth is, true strength comes from owning who you are, flaws and all. When you embrace vulnerability, you're not exposing your weakness. You're showing the world your humanity. And that takes immense strength. Let's think about a time in your life when you felt vulnerable. Maybe it was a personal relationship where you had to open up about your fears or insecurities, or a professional situation where you had to admit that you didn't have all the answers. In that moment, you may have felt exposed, uncertain, or even ashamed. But in hindsight, that vulnerability often became a source of connection. When you allow yourself to be vulnerable, you create space for others to do the same. Vulnerability fosters empathy, trust, and deep connection. It's when we allow ourselves to be human that we truly build meaningful relationships. Owning your true self, in all your imperfect glory, is an act of courage. It's about recognizing that you don't have to be perfect to be worthy of love, respect, and success. In fact, your imperfections are what make you unique. They're what make you relatable. Vulnerability is not about being weak or needy. It's about embracing the parts of yourself that make you whole. When you allow yourself to be vulnerable, you let go of the need to prove anything. You simply show up as you are, and that's where true strength lies. Consider this. When was the last time you shared something deeply personal, something that made you feel vulnerable? How did it feel? If you allowed yourself to be open, you probably experienced a sense of liberation, like a weight had been lifted. That's the power of vulnerability. It's not just about being honest with others. It's about being honest with yourself. And that honesty is the foundation of real strength. It's through vulnerability that we begin to understand ourselves on a deeper level. And from that understanding, we can grow. Number seven. The importance of integrity. Living with honor. In a world that seems to reward shortcuts and instant gratification, integrity can feel like an old-fashioned virtue, something of a bygone era. We've all seen situations where people take the easy way out, bending the rules just a little to get ahead. And let's be honest, sometimes it feels like the world operates on that very principle cutting corners deceiving others and looking out only for ourselves. But there's another way, a path that leads to a more fulfilling, meaningful existence. It's the path of integrity. At its core, integrity is about being true to your values, even when no one is watching. It's about honoring your word, maintaining your moral compass and standing firm in your beliefs, even when the world might be tempting you to do otherwise. It's easy to feel good about yourself when you're living in alignment with your values. But what happens when the pressure mounts? 
What happens when the stakes are high and the temptation to compromise is overwhelming? That's when true integrity shows its value, not in the easy moments, but in the tough ones. Think about a situation in your life where you had the chance to do the right thing, but it was hard. Maybe it was telling the truth when a lie would have been more comfortable, or standing up for someone else when it meant making yourself vulnerable. These moments are the tests of your character, and how you respond shapes your life's trajectory. Living with integrity is not about being perfect, it's about consistently striving to be your best self, even when no one is looking. It's about building trust, not only with others, but with yourself. Now, consider the relationships in your life, whether personal or professional. Do people trust you? Do they know that when you say something, you mean it? Trust is the foundation of every meaningful relationship and integrity is what builds that trust. When you live with integrity, you show the world that your word is your bond. That's a powerful thing. It gives you influence, it earns you respect, and it sets you apart in a world that often values convenience over truth. Let's think back to the people you admire most, whether they're historical figures, mentors, or people in your community. There's one common thread they live with integrity, they stay true to their principles, even when it's difficult, and because of that, they inspire others. Number 8. Conquering Fear The courage to face the unknown. We all have fears. It's part of being human. Whether it's fear of failure, rejection, or the unknown, these emotions are universal. But while fear is a natural part of life, it doesn't have to control us. In fact, the most successful people aren't those who are fearless. They're the ones who learn to face their fears head on, transforming them from obstacles into stepping stones. When you think about fear, what comes to mind? Maybe it's that nervous feeling before speaking in public, the anxiety of taking a big risk, or the dread of facing an unfamiliar challenge. Fear can be paralyzing if you let it, but it doesn't have to be. Fear is often the mind's way of protecting us from potential harm, but it can also limit us, keeping us stuck in our comfort zones. The key to overcoming fear is not to eliminate it, but to embrace it, understand it, and move forward despite it. Think of a time in your life when fear held you back. Maybe there was a moment when you wanted to make a change, start a new job, ask someone out, take a leap of faith, but fear of failure or judgment kept you from taking that step. We've all been there. But imagine what would have happened if you had pushed through that fear. What if, instead of retreating, you had faced the unknown with courage and confidence? The fear may still have been there, but on the other side was the opportunity for growth, success and personal evolution. Conquering fear doesn't mean acting without hesitation. It means acting despite the hesitation. It means acknowledging the fear, but not letting it dictate your actions. Every time you face a fear, you expand your boundaries and build resilience. The more you confront the unknown, the more comfortable you become with discomfort. And eventually, you start to realize that fear doesn't hold the power you once gave it. Take a moment to think about someone you admire, Perhaps they've done something that you found incredibly brave, whether it was starting their own business, moving to a new country, or pursuing their dreams in the face of adversity. What you may not realize is that they likely experienced fear just like you, but they chose to act anyway. Fear is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign that you're on the edge of something new, something that could push you to grow. In many ways, Fear is a companion to progress. Every step forward involves a degree of risk, and that risk comes with fear. But by facing that fear, you not only grow stronger, you show others what's possible when they too choose courage over comfort. Fear can't be avoided, but it can be conquered, and in doing so, you unlock a deeper level of freedom and empowerment. 
So as you encounter fears in your own life, remind yourself that they are not roadblocks. They are opportunities to become the person you were always meant to be. The courage to face the unknown is what separates those who simply exist from those who truly live. Number nine, the value of minimalism. Simplifying for greater clarity. In a world that seems to be constantly demanding more, more possessions, more success, more achievements, it can feel like we're trapped in a cycle of endless accumulation. The more we have, the more we want. And soon, we find ourselves overwhelmed by clutter, both physical and mental. But what if the key to true happiness and success lies not in acquiring more, but in having less? Minimalism is not just about throwing away things you don't need, it's about clearing the excess in your life to make space for what truly matters. It's about finding clarity in the chaos and focusing on the essentials. When you embrace minimalism, you're not just simplifying your surroundings, you're simplifying your mind, your time and your energy. Take a moment to reflect on the things in your life that are weighing you down. Maybe it's a cluttered home, a packed schedule, or an overwhelming to-do list. It's easy to get bogged down by the demands of everyday life, but minimalism invites you to look at what truly adds value. What brings you joy? What contributes to your growth? What do you need to focus on to live the life you truly desire? Minimalism isn't about deprivation. It's about making conscious choices. It's about intentionally removing the distractions that prevent you from living your best life. When you strip away the unnecessary, you make room for the meaningful. Imagine how much more freedom you would have if you let go of the things that no longer serve you. Whether that's material possessions, toxic relationships, or mental clutter. Think about the power of simplicity. When you simplify your life, you gain mental clarity. You become more focused and less overwhelmed. You begin to prioritize what really matters, your health, relationships, passions, and goals. In a world that constantly tells you to do more and be more, minimalism offers a refreshing antidote. It challenges you to slow down, take a step back, and evaluate what truly contributes to your well-being. The beauty of minimalism is that it gives you more than just physical space. It gives you emotional and mental space as well. When you eliminate the distractions and noise, you open yourself up to a deeper sense of purpose. You start to see the bigger picture and feel more connected to what truly matters. Minimalism isn't about living with less. It's about living more intentionally. Number 10. Creating lasting impact leaving a legacy that matters. We all want to make a difference in the world, to leave a mark that lasts long after we're gone. Whether it's through our work, our relationships, or our personal values, we yearn to know that our lives have had purpose. But how do we create a legacy that truly matters? The first step in creating a lasting impact is understanding that it doesn't always come from grand gestures or monumental achievements. Sometimes, the most meaningful legacies are built from small acts of kindness, integrity, and dedication over time. Your legacy is not determined by how many people remember you, but by the positive influence you leave on those who do. Think about the people who have had the most profound impact on your life. It's likely that they didn't create a legacy by seeking fame or recognition. Instead, they made an impact by living with intention, by prioritizing values like honesty, compassion and perseverance. The legacy you leave behind is not about the material things you accumulate, but about the way you lived, the way you treated others, and the values you instilled in those around you. Creating a lasting impact requires dedication. It's about aligning your actions with your beliefs and consistently living according to your highest principles. Your legacy is built over time through the choices you make each day. And while it's easy to get caught up in the chase for external success, money, recognition, accolades, 
True legacy is rooted in the internal work you do to become the best version of yourself. The key to leaving a meaningful legacy is to focus on what you can give, not what you can get. By serving others, sharing your wisdom and living authentically, you create ripples that extend far beyond your immediate circle. These ripples create a lasting impact, shaping the future long after you're gone. Your actions, your kindness and your principles are what endure. As you reflect on your life's purpose, ask yourself, what kind of impact do I want to leave? How do I want to be remembered? Creating a lasting legacy is not about achieving fame or power. It's about living with purpose, being true to your values and making a positive difference in the lives of others. If you've made it this far, drop a hundred in the comments. This shows you're part of that rare 0.01% who truly finishes what they start. Not many people have the dedication to go through the entire journey to self-mastery, and that's something to be proud of. You've already taken the first step by learning, reflecting, and embracing the challenge of becoming your best self. Now, it's up to you to put this knowledge into action and continue your growth every single day. If you're serious about transforming your life and taking it to the next level, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're just getting started on this journey together, and by joining, you'll have the support and guidance you need to keep pushing forward. Let's continue this path to greatness, one step at a time.